I have made a video about the happiest love poem I had read so far by a Tang Dynasty premier Zhang Jiuling. Here's the link. In the poem, Zhang Jiuling was away from his love and the poem starts quite sad, painting a picture of lonely autumn night. However, the bright moon over the peaceful ocean reminded him that they were connected by the rivers that flow into the ocean, and they were looking at the same moon. So he was happy and went back to his bedroom, hoping to dream about his love. The poem I'm presenting today paints a similar lonely autumn night, but slightly different. Rather than a night with a bright moon, it was a rainy night. Rather than by the ocean, it was by a mountain. The absence of the moon and water, either the river or the ocean, made all the difference. This is the poem by Li Shangyin, the Tang Dynasty poet who was, and still is, the most loved Chinese poet for romantic poetry in China and the Chinese-speaking communities around the world today. This poem is one of his best poems for their elegant expressions of romantic love. It is about the autumn, about the separation of the loved ones, about the hope of reunion, and about death. It is the saddest love poem I ever read. It broke my heart when I was writing the scripts for this video, yet I'm still enjoying making the video. I think there must be something wrong with me to want to make such a video about the love poem. But this is also the poem loved by many people from ancient time until today. We human are certainly messed up. I'm Dr. Gao, a philosopher obsessed with poetry. I make videos about the classical Chinese poetry, philosophies, and traditional Chinese medicine. If you like the content of my videos, please click the like button and subscribe my channel. I also offer one-to-one -one online lessons on these subjects. So if you like to learn more about these subjects, please contact me. Here's my email address. Now, let's go back to Li Shangyin. Unlike many of Li Shangyin's poems simply labeled as no title, this one actually has a title. However, there is quite a bit of controversial about the title. In a collection of the Tang Dynasty poetry compiled by a Shang Dynasty scholar named Hong Mai, in the title of Wan Shou Tang Ren Jue Ju, or 10,000 four-line poems of Tang Dynasty, the title of this poem is Ye Yu Ji Nei, or To My Wife at a Rainy Night. However, many scholars from the Qing Dynasty believed that this poem was composed in the autumn of 851 AD when he was traveling to Sichuan with the then governor Liu Zhongying, and his wife had died in early summer that year. They believed this poem could not be for his wife, but for a friend in the north, that is, at the capital Chang'an. So they changed the title from Ye Yu Ji Nei to Ye Yu Ji Bei. You see, Nei is an abbreviation of Nei Ren, which literally means the person at the inner chamber. This phrase is often used to refer to one's wife, because the female members of the upper class families were expected to stay at the inner chambers of their house for privacy during imperial China. So Nei Ren, or the person at the inner chamber, was often used to refer to one's wife. This term is still used by some old-fashioned gentlemen in Taiwan and other Chinese-speaking communities around the world today, but not in mainland China. 
In mainland China, men often refer their wives with informal terms as 老婆 all my old woman, 婆姨 all my woman, 堂客 all the person at the hall, etc. in the south, and 媳妇 all my wife in the north. The official term for wife in mainland China is 爱人 or lover. It is a term that can be used by both husband and wife. It is quite interesting. The official term for spouse is the most intimate term for husband and wife in mainland China. This term is inherited from the early period of the communist movement during the early 1920s and 30s. When they were mostly the rebellious intellectuals and students fighting against the establishment of arranged marriage, and introduced the term 爱人 from the Japanese translation of the term lover to replace the conventional terms for wife, such as 内人内子 or the mistress of my inner chamber. 捉襟 or my plain woman, 太太 or my esteemed wife, etc. Of course, there are also other terms used for husband and wife in different regions in China, as well as the Chinese-speaking communities around the world. If you know any of the terms for husband and wife, please let me know in the comment section down below. The title for this poem, most used today, is the one adopted by the Qing scholars, "Ye Yu Ji Bei," or "To My Friend at the North." Bei means north. It's an abbreviation of Bei Fang or the North. The reason the Qing scholars changed the title from "Ye Yu Ji Nei" to "Ye Yu Ji Bei." Was that they believed the poem was for Li Sangyin's friend Wen Tingjun, who was at the capital Chang'an, which was to the north of Sichuan. But I believe this poem was for his wife rather than for a friend. One reason is that it usually takes several months to travel from Chang'an to Sichuan. Here is a Tang Dynasty map showing how far away Mount Ba, where Li Sangyin was when composing this poem, away from Chang'an. Given the fact that the people could only travel by horse or on foot, and the difficulty of traveling from Chang'an to Sichuan during the Tang Dynasty, it would take months. For Li Sangyin to travel to Sichuan and a few more months for him to receive the news of his wife passed away, so it is possible that when Li Sangyin was composing this poem, he did not know that his wife had passed away. If this is true, it just makes this poem ten times more heartbreaking, because he was thinking of her. And the quiet yet joyous time they were going to spend together once he was back at Chang'an. This just make me want to cry. Another reason I believe this poem was for his wife is that he mentioned in the poem to cut the candle wick together with his wife. This is a very intimate act between husband and wife. You don't do this with a friend. Only with someone you are romantically involved with. The most intimate act with a friend is called 秉烛夜谈 or chatting under the candlelight. So I believe this poem is not for a friend but for his wife, and we should use the title of 夜雨寄内 or to my wife at a rainy night. Now. Let me read the poem in Chinese first. 君问归期未有期，罢山夜雨涨秋池。何当共剪西窗烛，却话罢山夜雨迟
Now let's look at the first couplet. 君问归期未有期，灞山夜雨涨秋池。君 means you. 问 means ask. 归 means return. 期 means date. 未 means not. 有 means have. 期 means date. 灞山 refers to Mount Ba. It is a mountain located in today's Sichuan Province. The road to Sichuan was extremely difficult during the Tang Dynasty. The Great Tang Dynasty poet Li Bai even composed a poem commenting on how difficult it was to travel to Sichuan. Here is a line from that poem: "Shu dao nan, nan yu shang qing tian." The road at Sichuan is difficult. It is more difficult than going up to the blue sky. That is how difficult the road at Sichuan is. Ye means night. Yu means rain. Zhang means swell. Qiu means autumn. Chi means lake. So the two lines can be translated as. You ask when I shall return, but no date has been set. On Mount Ba, the rain during this night swells the autumn lake. 何当共剪西窗烛，却话灞山夜雨迟。何当 means when. 共 means together. 剪 means trim. 西 means western. Chuang means window. Zhu refers to the candle wick. Qie means end. Hua means talk. Ba Shan refers to Mount Ba. Ye means night. Yu means rain. Shi means time. So the two lines can be translated as. When shall we trim the candle wick by the western window and talk of this time of Mount Ba's lonely rainy night? This poem starts by stating that his wife asked him when he was going to go back home. Apparently, Li Sangyin just got a letter from his wife sent to him several months ago after he left Chang'an. He did not know when he was able to return to the capital and how long it would take for him to get home. But he did not want to disappoint her, so he just said, "Oh, I haven't set a date yet." As if he only needed to set a date, and then he should be able to go home. Then he proceeded to tell her what was happening around him. And it was a rainy autumn night, and the rain was so heavy, even the lake by the mountain bar swelled up. The imageries of autumn, rain, and night are all imageries for misery, gloom, separation, and sadness. Autumn is also the season of death. A lot of plants wither, and insects die during the autumn. The cold rain of the autumn makes one feel more miserable than any other time. Night is also the time one feels most lonely and misses the loved ones. Li Sangyin piled up all these imageries in one line. Yet we don't feel the line is crowded because he integrated them all in a vivid picture of a rainy autumn night. Then the scene suddenly changed from cold, lonely, rainy night to a warm, cozy evening that the poet was with his wife, chatting by the window while trimming the candle wick together. The sad thing is, this warm, cozy evening with his wife was an imagined one. It is what he desperately hoped for at this lonely, cold, rainy night. He was imagining that he would have many of such nights with his wife, 
joking about the miserable time he spent away from her. Perhaps most importantly, this imagined life he hoped for was the one thing that supported him to endure many of these cold, lonely, rainy nights at this moment. However, what he did not realize while composing this poem is that his wife had passed away, and he would never have the chance to live the life he imagined. I can't imagine what sort of heartache Li Sangyin had to suffer when he eventually got the news that his wife had died, and how sad he would be when all his hopes were crushed by the news. Well, I can't help to tear up whenever I read this poem. It is the saddest love poem I ever read. We are so lucky that this kind of tragedy will not happen during our time. We can travel to the other side of the world, but still in touch with our loved ones. And if we want to, it would only take one or two days for us to travel anywhere in the world to visit our loved ones. Of course, there are still troubles that could separate loved ones, such as the wars happening in Ukraine and Gaza. We are just so lucky that. We can enjoy this peaceful life, and let's hope that the wars at Gaza and、um, and Ukraine would end quickly, and there there will be no more wars, disasters that will separate families and loved ones. I'm Dr. Gao, a philosopher obsessed with poetry. I make videos about classical Chinese poetry, philosophies, and traditional Chinese medicine. If you like the content of my videos, please click the like button and subscribe my channel. I also offer online lessons on these subjects. So if you would like to learn more about these subjects, please contact me. Here's my email address. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you next time.